good morning my dear students today in this video we are going to discuss about the questions given in the exercise part of the lesson friction first question fill in the blanks a friction opposes the dash between the surfaces in contact with each other friction opposes the relative motion between the surfaces in contact with each other b friction depends on the dash of surfaces it depends on nature of the surfaces nature means whether it is rough surface or smooth surface c friction produces dash it produces heat d the sprinkling of powder on the carom board dash friction what is it doing the sprinkling of powder on the carom board reduces the friction e sliding friction is dash than the static friction tell me the answer yes sliding friction is less than the static friction second question four children were asked to arrange forces due to rolling static and sliding frictions in decreasing order their arrangements are given below choose the correct arrangement we know that static friction is more than sliding and rolling frictions as like as rolling friction is less than static and sliding frictions so the answer for arrangement of forces in decreasing order is option c static friction sliding friction rolling friction third question alida runs her toy car on a dry marble floor wet marble floor newspaper and towel spread on the floor the force of friction acting on the car on different surfaces in increasing order will be dash we know that on wet marble there is less friction because its surface is very smooth and on the towel there is more friction because it has a rough surface so the friction in increasing order will be option a wet marble floor dry marble floor newspaper and towel fourth question suppose your writing desk is tilted a little a book kept on it starts sliding down show the direction of frictional force acting on it here frictional force will act upward because friction force always opposite to the direction of the object so here the direction of friction is opposite to that of sliding book fifth question you spill a bucket of soapy water on a marble floor accidentally would it be easier or more difficult for you to walk on the floor why actually we can walk because of friction between our feet and the ground but soapy water on the marble floor creates very less friction than normal floor so we can easily slip on the marble floor with soapy water hence it is very difficult to walk on the marble floor if soapy water is spilled sixth question explain why sportsmen use shoes with spikes we know that spikes increases the friction with the ground so they give more grip while walking or running and also they reduce slipping on the ground hence sportsmen use shoes with spikes seventh question ikbal has to push a lighter box and seema has to push a similar heavier box on the same floor who will have to apply a larger force and why we know that if the mass of an object increases then the friction between the object and floor increases that means a heavy object produce more friction similarly a lighter object produce less friction so here Seema will have to apply a larger force than that of Iqbal to move heavy box. Eighth question: 
explain why sliding friction is less than static friction. If there is static friction in between two objects, a greater force is required to break the interlocking between two surfaces. But when there is motion, a smaller force is required to keep the object in motion. That means there is no need to break interlocking when they are in motion. Hence, sliding friction is less than the static friction. Ninth question. Give examples to show that friction is both a friend and a foe. Let us see how friction is a friend. It allows us to grip and catch any object. It helps us to walk comfortably on the floor. It helps to minimize the speed or to stop any moving object. It helps us to write. Due to friction, we can hold the food items and eat with our mouth. And now let us see how friction is a foe. Foe means enemy. It causes tears in objects. It causes damage to the parts of machines and tools which require money to repair. It reduces the speed of moving objects. So more force or fuel is required. It produces hurdles in moving any object freely. Due to heavy friction, heat is produced and the machines will damage. Tenth question. Explain why objects moving in fluids must have special shapes. Actually, to overcome the fluid friction acting on the objects which are moving in liquids must have a special shape. These efforts are therefore made to minimize the friction. So, objects are given a special shape having pointed fronts with little border middle portion which gets tapered at the back. This is called streamlined object. My dear students, I provide a PDF file of these notes in the description of this video. Please check it out and write your notes.